Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here today with our sign-specific weekly astrological tarot reading. This reading is for the week of September 10th through September 16th and is for Libra. Okay, so I want to go over the theme really quickly for this week. And that theme is moving forward. We have two specific events that give me this idea. We have a new moon in Virgo on Thursday, followed by on Friday, Mercury, who's been retrograding through Virgo, stations direct. So we have two really big um, events happening in Virgo that signal a refreshing, restarting, um, and a forward momentum. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, so the spread that I've chosen this week to kind of give us an idea of what this journey has been and what it might be, I've chosen a three card spread. One position is for success, how we found, where we found success on the journey so far with Mercury retrograde. Challenge is the second position where maybe we ran into some challenges and advice, advice on moving forward. How can we move forward with Mercury through Virgo and on to Libra, onto your sign, which is coming up. This is Virgo season. Next season's all about you. So we'll take these lessons now and get done with these review periods so we can be in your time. I can't wait. Um, so let's get started. As I get started on my shuffle, I will be repeating my intention. And the intention I set for us this week is move forward. I chose move forward for obvious reasons. Um, I really hope that this spread can help us understand the the essence of what that means. What what Virgo season has meant so far, what Mercury's retrograde through Virgo has meant, um, and then specifically for you, how can we take all of that and move forward? Because um, the direction forward is towards you. So hopefully this spread helps us with that. So first position is success. Where have you had success during Mercury's retrograde? The sun reversed. We'll keep going. What was challenging? What maybe are the clouds blocking the sun? Two of pentacles reversed. Okay. What advice can we get from the tarot to help us move forward with Mercury? Nine of Pentacles also reversed. Okay. I, <laughs> it's been challenging, hasn't it? Um, this is a tough spread. It's a tough spread for trying to understand how to move forward, but there's one really significant card and that's in success. In success, we have the sun reversed. So the sun is one of those tarot cards where even in reversed, it still holds all of its essence. All of the beauty of the sun is still in this card. It just shows that it's a little clouded. So as success, I think what it's showing is that you have had success at figuring out what your sun is, what is shining brightest for you. In fact, because I feel like this review process has probably been about your unconscious mind, about the hidden deepest parts of you, um, they've, those parts of you, that side of you has probably been trying to communicate and hopefully you've been letting it in. If you haven't, I would definitely, definitely start this week before that new moon and before Mercury Stations Direct, just because it's a really good time for us to, for you in particular, to tap into that part of you. What is your intuition saying? What is hidden beneath maybe ego, maybe a mask? And we'll get to that as advice. But right now we're in success. You've had success at figuring that out, I think. You've had success at... And not figuring that out, at least understanding that there's a light hidden somewhere. That hidden in there, behind those clouds maybe, there the sun is. Your vibrant self is somewhere in your, in your unconscious. And I think that Mercury Retrograde has been helping you get that out. But it's been challenging. And the way it's been challenging 
is the Two of Pentacles reversed, which is probably the most not Libra card I can imagine. Like maybe Justice reversed would be the only other one. It's showing me that you are out of balance, that Mercury retrograde has sent you out of balance, that tapping too deeply into, oh, into these emotions, into hidden truths, into things that are more about you than the inside, maybe it's hard to balance that. It's hard. It's been hard for you to keep that balance with your responsibilities outside of you. It's been hard for you to keep that balanced with your, uh, your desire to have things on an even keel. Because when you deep dive into hidden truths, uh, a lot of times it can be emotional and, and overly emotional. That's not something that like is a super strong suit. However, because the sun reverse was in success, you have had success understanding how you can shine with that knowledge. It's just been challenging because it's throwing you out of balance. The way you've been responding to that is hinted at in the advice position. And in the advice position, we get the nine of pentacles reversed. I think you put a mask on to try to deal with the inside. So it's almost like you put a buffer in front of you to where you could just deal with what was inside. And I think that that mask needs to come off. This theme of Mercury retrogrades making things seem what they're not, including ourselves, is probably especially challenging for you. Take the mask off once Mercury stations direct. If you can do it sooner than that, do it. If you can't and don't or are unable to, by that new moon on Thursday, set your intention to be, to take off your mask, clear the clouds for the sun so that you can embrace that light, grab it, and then let it glow. That may blast the mask off, the mask off for you, and hopefully it does. Um, but what it will do if you take the mask off is it'll help you find that balance. Balancing inner and outer. It's your forte. It's it, it's Maybe you don't balance inner and outer the best, but this review process certainly, certainly has shown you how to do that. Trust what you've learned. Trust that that is your son. Trust that that is your son. You are able to balance inner and outer. You're certainly able to balance outer. So let the inner speak its truth. Don't hide it behind a mask. Let it speak its truth, and that'll help you keep everything outside balanced the way you usually do it. And then you can be the two of pentacles upright, which is fun in balance, which is your key thing. But in order to do that, you have to be authentic. And you should be, because what's inside of you, your unconscious, is a bright, sunny day. And everyone deserves to see that. And you deserve to experience it, because you've been through a lot this retrograde period, but... It ends on Friday. Well, it moves forward on Friday. <laughs> Enjoy it. Embrace it. Be sunny. I'll see you next week.